What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, I am so happy you're back. What's up guys? Welcome. And today we are doing a massive, massive collective Disney haul. I gotta be very honest with you. I have been struggling to keep up just in general with everything that has been going on. I've been doing the Disney Bound Challenge. I've also been opening a lot of collectibles over on the Collectibles Unboxing channel. I also have been designing two Dapper Day outfits for an upcoming trip. And I also have been transferring my entire library of vlogs, like my Alaskan vlogs and weekend vlogs and like personal vlogs that are not Disney related over to my new vlog vlog channel called Miss Cherry Vlogs. So both of those channels will be linked down below. So I've had a lot going on with both of them. And I have bought a lot of amazing Disney merchandise that I just haven't been able to show you yet. And so I kind of feel as though time, the time is now. And so we are going to go over a lot of things. I don't even have a particular order, but we're just going to kind of go for it. And I'm very excited to show you all the amazing things that I got. And I would love to know what you've recently got. What have you added to your collection or what have you recently purchased? Let me know in the comments down below and we can talk about it. But we're going to get started with probably my most favorite thing that I've purchased over the last several months. And it is the... Monsters University bucket hat that is fuzzy from Tokyo Disney. No, is it Shanghai Disney? No, it's Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo Disney. And I got it from a company called US Shopping SOS. And US Shopping SOS is a company that does personal shopping over in Tokyo and also in all of the other Asian parks, Shanghai, Hong Kong. They also pick up Alani items every now and again too. I think that they have a shopper that's over there so they can get them pretty easily. But I fell in love with this hat. It is beautiful and it is such good quality. And I, I am living, absolutely living for it. This is something that I'm gonna wear next time I go to Disneyland, California. So I can get a couple photos in front of Boo's door, but oh my gosh, is this everything? It has the little Sully horns. It also has like really pretty embroidery on the front with a monster symbol, stunning. They always get such good merchandise. I can't wait to go back. We are tentatively planning a Tokyo trip for next year, but I have to be honest with you guys, I am really kind of waiting until they get all of their experiences back because they still are pretty behind as far as opening things since the pandemic. And they've really, their park's really been suffering over there. They don't have a lot of the live shows uh, still even. Um, and they're still running with like limited uh, production as far as parades and those sorts of things. And when you go that far and you spend that much money, you definitely want the full experience. So we will have to see. We actually were trying to plan a group channel trip, um, but with hearing the news from Tokyo Disney Explorer, who is, Chris is amazing. If you don't follow him, you should, especially if you're interested in ever going to Tokyo Disney. He was saying that he's just really, they just don't have all of the experiences that they used to have. And he's actually encouraging people to wait. And so I didn't want to do like a channel trip as a group unless we get our money's worth. So I'm going to grab one more thing from US Shopping SOS. Also picked this guy up. This is from Tokyo Disney. And I got this because someday I'm going to be going on a Disney cruise, hopefully sooner rather than later. And I knew that this had been released and I just fell in love with it. It's actually a pass holder, which is what they call like their little necklaces that you wear, that you keep your passes and your tickets in because they still use paper tickets. I think they use paper tickets right up until the pandemic and then they went to the app. But this is what it looks like. So it goes, you know, it goes over your neck and you can wear it like a necklace, but this one is long enough that you can actually wear as a crossbody. How cute is that? Let me show you the up close. How adorable is this? So we have Chip and Dale lounging, looking so very happy. Can we talk? They have sunglasses. 
They have their little arms behind their heads. They are living their best life. And then always with the pass holders, they do have specialty emblems and things on their, on their straps. And then I wanted to point out that yes, it is see-through. Um, it looks like there's water, but you actually cannot um, see that part through the center. So it's not like when you put things in here that people are going to be able to see them. Cause I know that some people really don't like see-through bags. So here is the little life raft bag that I got from Tokyo Disney for an anticipated sometime in the future Disney cruise that's going to happen and all the cruise vlogs will be coming your way because someday I will finally finally get to go I actually had one planned in 2020 we all know how that went rescheduled it for 2021 and then that got canceled so we've had two canceled Disney cruises has not gone our way. But anyway, this is so cute. I love it. I don't remember how much it was, but I got it from US Shopping SOS. Okay, now, so many of you messaged me about this and I was really on the fence about this for a very long time. This is the brand new Loungefly plush Lotso bag. Now, the reason why I was on the fence about this for so long was because we have all seen the Lotso plush head bags that are from Hong Kong, Tokyo, Shanghai, and they are mostly stuffing. Like you literally can't fit hardly anything into the bag itself. Well, this is different. This is actually a hard head that's hollow and I was so excited I finally found someone to actually rec that actually recorded what the inside looked like and I was 100% sold so here's the inside the interior lining uh, really the interior lining is really cute with lotso and strawberries and he's got different expressions but the inside of this bag is huge and it is practical and I love that. And so I decided to get it. Lotso is one of my most favorite characters. If you haven't been to the channel before, I'm a big Lotso gal. And what I really loved about this crossbody strap, so the crossbody is very long, which I love, but we also have this little strawberry pouch. And here is a close up of the strawberry pouch. I would totally put pin traders in here. I'm a big pin trading gal when I go to the Disney parks. And so this is definitely what I will be utilizing this bag for. It has a really beautiful rose gold hardware, which I love. And then on the back, we do have like that Loungefly Disney Parks logo. I did end up purchasing this from Shop Disney. If it's still available, I'll definitely link it down below for you. The other thing about this bag is that he is scented. So I love my Lotso plush. I actually sleep with my Lotso plush every night. If you see my vlogs, you know that. And in right on his nose is that strawberry scent. So he smells just like his plushes do. And I just love that. So I'm so happy that this is actually a practical bag and not something that is just going to sit on a shelf. So I will definitely use him in the future. Hopefully if they bring, <sighs> I'm not joking. Is there a way for us to get a petition to get Lotso back at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? I mean, look, Happily Ever After got brought back. I think we can bring back Lotso, but I just don't know how to go about it. So if you do, if there's a petition, if you know someone, if you know Papa Iger, please let me know. I would love to just throw my two cents into the ring as to Please bring back the best meet and greet ever. He's my most favorite meet and greet. Okay, so I ordered these because I'm gonna be going to Disney World in April and we are gonna be going to the Flower and Garden Festival. And this is from Main Street Couture. They're a small shop, I will link them down below. I am obsessed with their headbands. They have the most stunning headbands ever. I have the Minnie Mouse one and I also have the Halloween and Maybe that's it. Maybe I just have the three. I always put them in my cart and then I'm like, oh, do I need those? <laughs> Does, do you guys do that? Anyway, so what I love about their stuff is that it is just so elaborate and it is such good quality. So check this out. This is their flower and garden knotted headband, but let's take a peek at the close details. So it does have orange bird. 
There's also lots of beautiful giant rhinestones, which I'm obsessed with. We have little orange blossoms and little rhinestone oranges. Like, is this stunning? It's freaking stunning. I am obsessed with it. Also, the other thing about these headbands is they are so comfortable. Oh my gosh. They are so, so, so very comfortable. So if you're looking for a good quality headband, that is a very, very extra. Be sure to check them out. This is not sponsored. I bought everything in this video, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm not sponsored at all, but I think that these are so cute. I have a specific orange bird outfit that I am wearing to Epcot and I'm very jazzed about it. But this is beautiful. Gosh, okay, so this is a really silly purchase. So I've been bedazzling a lot in my spare time, like a lot, a lot. And I saw this on Amazon. It was like a targeted ad. I think it was like $18. And it is an Iron Man helmet. And the reason why I liked this was because it can be a crossbody or a backpack. And what's really cool is it has the straps and you just like move them to be what you want them to be, like either a crossbody or backpack straps. And they just stay right there, which I think is so very clever. And so there's the back. It has Tony Stark's little arc reactor on the zipper pull, which I love. It also has a pouch on the back where you can put your phone. And I got rhinestones just to be able to rhinestone this because I think it would look really pretty rhinestone. And I did want to show the inside too. It's really large in there and it also has like a big flap on the back as well. So it's a pretty decent sized bag and it was pretty inexpensive and I think I can modify it to make it beautiful. And so why not have another craft project on my hands? <laughs> why not? Because I don't have time. That's why. Okay, moving on. This, my friend Lindsay, she went to a couple of weeks back and she saw this and she's like, um, you probably are gonna need this. And I was like, yes, I do. And it is the Lotso hoodie. So it has Lotso on the bottom and he's looking so very adorable. It also has pom-poms. One is Sully. And the other is Buttercup from Toy Story. So it's his little unicorn horn, which is so cute. And it is so very soft. They did not have my size. I think she got me, yeah, she got me a 2X because I wanted an XL uh, because I wanted to wear it like out and about. But now it's just going to be an at home sort of a wearable. But oh my gosh, I tried it on. This thing is heavenly but it is so hot. So you're gonna have to wait until the like dead of winter to wear this, but isn't Lonzo so cute? Oh my gosh, I love him. I just think he is precious. So that was $69.99 from the parks. So I did end up getting the Orange Bird Lounge fly mini backpack. This is from the Disney parks. I ended up getting it on Shop Disney because it became available like one evening really, really late, which I'm in Alaska and I feel like I have a bit of an advantage because by eight o'clock my time, it's midnight in Florida. And I feel like at midnight in Florida, they always release things on Shop Disney. So I feel very fortunate to be able to always kind of get access to those sorts of things early. Um, and he's so beautiful. So what's really interesting, he's a bit muted. It's supposed to be very 70s very retro feeling and I feel that this flower crown really sold me or his orange blossom crown, right? Really sold me. He's looking super happy and super fun. And this is just gonna complete my outfit for flower and garden. And then on the back, he's got a little uh, shovel and he's got little flowers around him, which is so cute. But look at the lining, it is so retro, oh my gosh. So I actually have a retro couch in this room that is just beautiful and it matches the colors of this perfectly. I love this aesthetic. If I could do my whole house in this aesthetic, I absolutely would. There's no question. It does have really nice like weathered brass hardware. Let me show you kind of the details of that. Isn't that nice? Just keeping with like that retro style and he's so adorable. I love this bag so much. I think that this orange bird bag with the flower crown is much cuter than the original lounge fly. And so I was really excited 
um, that they came out with another Orange Bird Lounge Fly that was a little bit of an alternative style because this is definitely more my style. I don't love really, really bright orange and so I think that having this muted like tangerine color just really speaks to me. We're keeping on the Orange Bird theme. Um, I also got Orange Bird earrings because made by Magic Design which is one of my most favorite earring companies. They made orange bird earrings and I just think he's so cute. I thought that I would wear that with my orange bird outfit. I'm gonna be like decked head to toe with orange bird and I'm like totally fine with that. I think it's gonna be fun. And also at Disney, you can never be too extra. So we're gonna be wearing those. And then <laughs> I just saw that they made these and this is like my most favorite ride ever. And I just feel like I couldn't pass it up and these are the <laughs> people mover ride vehicle earrings <laughs> one of the uh last days i think it's the 30th is uh your favorite ride and i have created a retro style of outfit to match the original uniforms of the people mover uh, that the cast members used to wear. And so I think I'm gonna wear these just for fun because why not, right? But I definitely didn't have in mind that I wanted people mover earrings. I just happened upon them. And then I also have an occasion where I can wear them. So I feel like it was kind of meant to be. I have to say, Disney, you're killing me. Loungefly, you're killing me. Basically every sort of like company that has Disney licensing has been going ham on Little Mermaid. And if you don't know, Little Mermaid is my most favorite film. And my opinion is, look, we just had the 30th anniversary. Calm down. I'm still financially recovering from that. And then now, all of a sudden, we have the new release of the new movie and they're coming out with a ton of original merchandise, like from the OG film. And I'm like, y'all, calm down. Also, I'm okay with it though. So here is the beautiful half and half bag. There's hardly ever anything that is Vanessa themed. And so I had to take advantage of this. So one side, the flap is Ursula and then you open it up and the detail inside is Vanessa, which is, oh my gosh, she looks so stunning. And then the other side is Vanessa and you open it up and it is Ursula. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. And so I just am in love with this bag. This bag honestly couldn't be any more perfect. The interior lining is the shell that holds Ariel's voice along with some really beautiful flowers and also flounder. And I just love that there's like embroidery detail. I just think they did a fabulous job on this bag and it is so cute and so unique. Also, I love that you can choose if you want Ursula in the forefront or Vanessa in the forefront. I definitely will be putting Vanessa in the forefront, I think, because it's just so rare where we get to see Vanessa. Oh yeah, did I say I got that at Box Lunch? So my friend Lindsay had a regret. So when she went to Disney World, she saw this bag and she really wanted it. And then she decided to not get it. And she came back to Alaska and she's like, oh, I really wish I would have got that bag. So I reached out to Disney Family Adventures because they already had a pretty good order for me from the character warehouse that they needed to ship me, <laughs> which we will go into in a second. And I said, hey, can you grab this for me as well? And so this bag actually belongs to Lindsay, but I thought I would show you guys because I know that there's a lot of you that are Haunted Mansion fans, and I thought you may wanna take a peek at this. So here it is. This is a Disney Parks Loungefly 50th uh, Disney World Anniversary Haunted Mansion bag. It has like these stripes that are in the uniform, in the ears. We have the little creepy eyes the wallpaper which by the way the wallpaper is really light colored so this the front of this bag glows in the dark it wasn't specific as to what sections glow in the dark but I know the eyes do for sure and then we have the stripes on this side this is actually a Mickey Mouse main attractions bag so they do have matching ears and a matching matching Mickey plush and pin on the back it says Walt Disney World 50 which I thought was really fun because this is her first lounge fly bag and she also went to Disney World during the 
50th anniversary. So I thought for her, like as a keepsake, this was a really cool choice. And then it does have black hardware, which, oh my gosh, can we talk to Loungefly about getting more things with black hardware because it makes my heart sing. Um, and my black soul, very happy. <laughs> and then here is the interior lining, which happens to be that same wallpaper that's on the front of the bag. But now I can hand this over to Lindsay and she can have her very first lounge fly bag, which is super exciting. Haunted Mansion is her favorite. And it's really funny. We went to Disneyland back in October and she got to see the um, Haunted Mansion holiday. That was the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay. And she said it's like ruined Haunted Mansion for her. And it's so funny because I told her, I was like, once you see it, I don't think you're ever going to want to go back on the regular Haunted Mansion because that's how I feel about Haunted Mansion. Uh, I love Haunted Mansion holiday more than anything. And um, yeah, she she's a bit ruined because her favorite film is Nightmare Before Christmas. So it was kind of a double whammy for her, like favorite ride and favorite movie. So for her, it was like next level. So for the character warehouse, I had Diz Family pick up some character warehouse items for me. Actually, if you are interested in some exclusive information as to what is at the character warehouse or in the parks, we have two different park pickup people or groups, I should say, within our Facebook community. And I will link that down below for you if you're interested in joining joining because these people are so amazing. This is Diz Family. They pick up for us at Universal Studios as well as the Character Warehouse, which is awesome. And everything they send is always wrapped in beautiful wrapping. And I ordered peppermint bark because at the warehouse they had peppermint bark. And I love peppermint bark. But also, I really, really loved this tin. So it's kind of like a double thing for me. So this is the tin that it comes in. It's got all the little treats around the edges and it has the, I think it's the Sensational Six. Yeah, Sensational Six on the front and in this like really cute Christmas scene. I wanna say this was only a few dollars. Um, whereas regularly it's 20 in the parks. And so that was really great. And it's, um, as long as you eat the peppermint bark before Christmas this upcoming year, um, then it doesn't expire, which is great. And I wanted to show you, this is the little peppermint bark. That's what it looks like, which is really cool. It's like a little Mickey Mouse. And um, he's wearing a Santa hat. And it, um, I've had the peppermint bark before and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I'm kind of saving this for the holidays this year. So I'm going to put it away and actually place it into the plastic tub that I keep my Christmas items in because I want to save it to be able to have Christmas bark this upcoming year for my friends and family that are, are going to be here for the holidays. Oh, and it looks like there's 18 pieces of bark in here. And also I wanted to point out that this can be used as a picture frame as well. So you can put a four by six photo in here, or you can just leave the uh, picture of the sensational six, which that's what I'll be doing because I think it looks really cute. Oh my gosh, this next item. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. So these were on really good. These were on sale even more than what they are listed. Um, and these are, I call them the Tinkerbell Christmas ears. So these were released by Disney Parks, I think. I wanna say last year, but look how adorable these are. So we have the little, I call it the Tinkerbell pom pom in the center. And then we've got all these jingle balls, kind of <laughs> jingle balls. The jingle we've got some jingle ball trim on the edge. We've got beautiful velvet ears. It's got a red interior and a sequin bow. I think these are so pretty. Look how cute those are. Oh yes, I love this. I will also be in Disneyland near Christmas time this year. So I will definitely be wearing these because I think these are so also this CVS receipt. They finally got rid of this, guys. Did you hear? They went back to the tags that are a little bit wider and like like an inch long, which is great. This now, this is $8.99. And this is Mochi, which is the cat from Big Hero 6 dressed up as Stitch. And there's a little Baymax pumpkin and also a little Hero pumpkin. This was from 2022. 
and I absolutely am obsessed with this. My cat is a calico cat. Her name is Telly. She's 16 and she looks a little bit like Mochi and so I love seeing merchandise with Mochi and also I love Big Hero 6 so it's kind of like a double whammy. Yes, another one that was $8.99. This is the Lucifer the Cat. Halloween pin. Lucifer is on top of two jack-o'-lanterns. One is Cinderella's carriage and the other has a silhouette of Cinderella and Prince Charming dancing. I also used to have a tuxedo cat that was Telly's brother and um, he looked a lot like Lucifer and I always love getting things with Lucifer so it's kind of cool. We have one that represents Telly and one that represents Julian and so I just think that's really fun. And also, I recently got a black car and I named him Lucifer just because I really love Lucifer as a character. The next item, oh my gosh, so Diz Family every now and again goes to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those sorts of stores, which is amazing because the only kind of like store that we have that's like a discount store is Burlington up here. And so when I saw that they had these bobble bar earrings, I was freaking out. I wanted these so badly. My friend Jen was like, I think that they found them. Go ask and go check out their social media. And they had, these were $14.99 and it's got mini kind of dangling from a heart. And what's really cool is like she kind of hinges from her neck and so her little hands can move like back and forth but aren't these the flippin' cutest earrings ever oh my gosh i love them i think they're so adorable and so i was very 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 excited that they were able to get them for me so thank you guys so much at this family for being able to find those because they were ones that I really, really wanted to add to my collection. And next I have an item that is from Amazon. This is from the latest Loungefly release that happened, oh gosh, when did it happen? Last month. And this is the Loungefly that's for the 15th anniversary of the Infinity Saga. So this is the Iron Man crossbody bag that is in the colors of his suit. It also has the arc reactor in the center. And then on the interior, we have Tony Stark in his helmet on the inside. I just think this bag is stunning and it's gonna look beautiful displayed with like LED lights and oh, it's gonna be really nice. I'm very excited to get this onto a shelf with all things Tony Stark. Another Amazon item that is super duper silly but I'm very excited about is this beach towel that happens to be flounder. So I love the Little Mermaid and this is like the cutest towel ever. So it's got flounder and he's got like embroidered features which is so nice and although it's not super big I just thought that this was so fun and I wanted it to be part of my collection. We also have a sauna downstairs and so I always sit on a towel and so I thought it would be fun to use flounder in our sauna. Isn't this so cute? I will link if it's still available on Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys because I think this is so fun. I think this used to be an item that was available on Shop Disney, but I feel like if it would have been there, I would have bought it, but maybe I missed it. It's just so rare where I miss a Little Mermaid release. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. We need to talk about Pink Ala Mode really quick. So I wanted to let you guys know that Pink Ala Mode, I've been an influencer or, um, you know, partner with them for over a year now and they are actually discontinuing their promo codes for their influencers and are moving to a different system. And so there's not gonna be any promo codes available anymore. So from now until the 31st of March, you can still use my promo code, which is Miss Cherry, to get a discount. And by the way, Pink Alamode is an amazing small shop. They're a lounge fly uh, partner, and they also provide a ton of buckle down products, lots of really cool pins that are Disney licensed. I mean, kind of you name it if you're a Disney fan, um, I think you'll really, really love their shop. So if you are interested in getting a discount, 
discount is only going to be available through the 31st. So just be aware of that. I will link their information down below as well. But guys, I still have a giant box next to me. And so I think we're going to have to have a part two. So anyway, let me know what of the items are we twinning on any of the items. Let me know what your favorite item was that we showed today in the video. I had so much fun hanging out with you. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!